In this topic, you will understand intercompany transactions, including what are intercompany transactions, when are they used, for what type of transactions, what are the benefits, and what features are available in your SAGE system. To begin, intercompany transactions occur when one company is involved in a transaction with another company of the same entity. These companies may be parent and one or more subsidiaries. It could be two subsidiaries or even two divisions of one entity. Now, an intercompany transaction is recorded in the financial transactions of both companies of that entity. When are intercompany transactions used? While these transactions can occur for a variety of reasons, they often occur as a result of normal business relations that exist between companies. This allows you to record a financial transaction when a parent company generates invoices for expenses or revenue that belong to one or more subsidiaries. What type of transactions are used? Well, service and expenses allocations including billing from a profit center or allocations from a cost center. Dividend payments. Parent company may need cash from subsidiaries to pay dividends or to pay their own expenses. Loans centralized at the parent company level where subsidiaries may borrow from parent where interest may or may not be charged. Reimbursements where a parent company may arrange and pay for external services for a subsidiary. Inventory transfers could be downstream sales parent to subsidiary, upstream subsidiary to parent, or lateral subsidiary to subsidiary. Now, though there are many other examples, here are just a few. Now, some of the benefits include uh, intercompany transactions recorded in the financial transactions of each company involved in that transaction. It eliminates multiple entries and increases productivity. Now, what are some of the features available? Well, the ability to de designate a financial site belonging to a different company on both a supplier and customer invoice. Automatic generation of journal entries in the source, which could be the parent company, and the target, which could be the subsidiary company, using the offsetting due to, due from, intercompany accounts set up in each company. Intercompany transactions will also be possible between different legislations. Traceability from intercompany invoice to all journal entries created. And finally, you can modify the transaction of the intercompany journal that's possible in your financials. Now you have an overview of intercompany transactions, including what are intercompany transactions, when are intercompany transactions used, what's the nature of the transactions, what are the benefits, and what are the features.